Hello and welcome to Jurassic Reviews. On this episode, we'll be taking a look at a new figure from X+. That figure is the 25cm large monster series Mothra 1992, the standard version. Before we begin, if you have enjoyed my content, feel free to subscribe. Here's a look at the large box this Mothra comes in. It's really similar to X-Plus's past Mothra releases. This Mothra is based on the Mothra in the 1992 film Godzilla vs. Mothra, from the Heisei era of the Godzilla films. That film also had the US title of Godzilla vs. Mothra, The Battle for Earth. On her base, she is 17 inches tall and has an 18 inch wingspan. I have always had mixed feelings about this Mothra design. I have always preferred the original's more rugged look, that's less clean and fluffy looking like this one. However, this is probably the Mothra design that first comes to mind for me when I think of Mothra, as the defunct toy maker Trendmasters took inspiration from this design for their figures in the 90s, the ones I played with and collected when I was younger. All of that aside, X Plus has done a tremendous job capturing the look of this 92 Mothra. It looks pretty screen accurate to me, even looking fluffy despite this figure being made of vinyl. The wings are the main standout part of this figure, which, like the 64 version I have, are huge and impressive to look at. Mothra comes with a display rod and base, with the base showing both the Mothra symbol on one side and an egg on the other. It's not quite as impressive as the 64's base, but it's better than nothing at all. Details all over the body are great, with some nice texture work throughout to give it that fluffy look I mentioned earlier. The smaller parts, like the antenna and the legs, also look great. One of the coolest parts of this figure are the eyes, which feature the same type of texture used in the recent 30cm Megalon, that's also translucent. The Rick version of this figure actually has light-up eyes, but I opted for the standard as I'm not a huge fan of light-ups. So overall I'm really impressed with this sculpt, now we just need an adult Batcher to pair with it. The paint job is equally as good as the sculpt with the wings again being the standout. They are painted really warm colors. There's yellow and orange, and also some black making up the different displays on her wings. There's also an orange and white pattern around the areas closer to the body, and this same pattern can be found on the body itself. The majority of the body and the head is painted orange, white, and black, with the black paint running under the neck and lower parts of her body. The upper part of the legs are painted white, with a yellowish color for the claws that gets lighter at the nail portions of each. Looking at the head, the eyes are painted blue and the mouth brown. The antenna are also painted white with a brown stripe along the top of each. Looking at the base, it's painted a few shades of brown to give it that muddy look. The egg is painted blue with yellow stripes and white dots. Before I give my rating for this figure, here's a comparison with other figures. Here she is with the 25 cm Godzilla 1999. Here she is with the 25cm Destroya. Here she is with the 25cm Godzilla 2002. Here she is with the Yuji Sakai Godzilla 1991. 
And finally, here she is with the 25 centimeter Mothra 1964. For a rating out of 10, I give this one a 9.5. It's not my favorite version of Mothra, but this figure definitely makes me more of a fan. The sculpt is awesome, and does a good job of capturing her fluffy look in vinyl form. The paint job is beautiful, with the wings stealing the show. There might still be some of these out there for decent prices, but if it's anything like the 64 Mothra, they won't stay low for long. If you are looking for a cool Mothra figure for your collection, this is a good one to go with. I recommend it. And that does it for the X Plus Large Monster Series Mothra 1992. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite version of Mothra is. Thanks for watching and see you next time.